All right, I feel like I might have to be a little bit harsher on this one than I have been on the previous ones. Um, you see, when it comes to writing a gaming creepypasta, most of the time the writer is expected to have a certain level of understanding of the lore, especially when it comes to creepypastas that deal with the lore and theories surrounding the game in question, unless it's something like the Ashes Coma theory to where it tries to apply real-world logic to, like, games and anime and such. But for this, it is trying to justify a somewhat far-fetched idea. And given that this was posted back in 2013, like the previous ones that we've done, Mega Man 9 and 10 were already out at this point, and it acts as though they don't exist. And it takes Mega Man 7 as uh, the bridge between the Classic and X series, and it talks as if that the rest of it didn't happen. So th this is going to be me being a lore nerd, having a little bit of a rant about not knowing the source material well enough to write a pasta around. Additionally, many people have told me that the whole scene where Mega Man tells Wily to die actually wasn't even in the Japanese version. That was something they added into the English version to make it just slightly yeah, edgy. I, I had heard about that. The best advice I can offer for this one would be to, I guess, fact check some things before writing up these kind of theories, because sometimes little things can undo the entire premise. If you wanted to have a more lore accurate Maverick theory, I would say it should stem from Mega Man 10's Roboenza virus, which is heavily implied to have been the starting point for the Maverick virus. I will give it the credit that not every Maverick in the Mega Man X series always started with a virus. In lore, it often said things like sometimes simple programming errors could cause someone to go Maverick. <laughs> a simple glitch in the system, a glitch in the electronic brain. And if Mega Man did suffer that and could potentially go on a rampage, then that actually would possibly classify him as one of the first Mavericks, so to speak. And English speaking, yeah. But that said, this didn't really seem to be what the lore was hinting at at all. It came across as the author saying, what if this happened? Just said, Mega Man just suddenly goes crazy and massacres everybody. It's kind of like the whole Batman thing of, Batman can't bring himself to kill, because once he does, he won't be able to stop. Yeah. It didn't seem bad to me. Just kind of... Okay. Huh? Yeah. So, so. I will give them credit though. This one was actually really easy to read. Some of the creepypasta we've come through have been a little bit of a struggle. Yes, I, I can grant it that. At least compared to the previous ones that we've read, the sentence structure seemed to flow decently well, and I didn't stumble over my words trying to read this one nearly as much as the previous ones. Yeah. So, in short, the way I would improve this one is to simply touch up on the lore a little bit better and try to make it flow better if you're going to stick with this kind of theory. That's really all I have to offer. Didn't really mean to come across as being mean with this one, but it's just... A bit of a stickler. Or I, I'm a bit of a stickler when it comes to lore stuff like this. I mean, I spent how long making that iceberg? And granted, that's for EXE, not for Classic, but still, it's... Yeah. Yeah.